let's go on with installed from the github from Eric Dubois the ultimate Linux Mint 18.1 cinnamon github we've we ran well let's be uh, correct we first ran this one to get the latest kernel and then we took the install core software and extra software and the themes so next up is customization so this looks okay it's a wonderful look but we want to have something else so we go to preferences let's see what I always do I go to themes I take add to favorites I put this one up here then I click here because it's a button I often use it's all about theming and we've installed lots of elements as you can see this is the normal look the arc dark look let's, let's start with that so when you download it from uh, host 3180 that's the name we have to remind then it's gonna look like this yeah, it's a beautiful look and uh, if we take one of the Sardi icons then it can be quite beautiful no problem but at some point in time you want to change the blue into something else so i made a script arc theme colora script where you can use your own color any hexadecimal color and you pop it in there and you get for instance arc dark crimson arc dark crimson and an arc dark crimson so it's the same um, the same arc theme except that the blue has been replaced with red and for instance that goes well with the sardi colora fire brick for instance or anything else there's another one that is red this one maybe you like the love uh, folders well this takes a lot of memory i feel it in my system here so voila this is another look you can have so we are now customizing we have a lot of arc elements you can see there are a lot of colors uh, gray blue orange grayish bluish red violet uh, gray again and so on and the same goes for the mint y which we know this is the normal one let's go and check out what the normal one is mint y dark is the way we what we get when we install Linux Mint so it looks beautiful but again at some point in time you want to vary the color so we can vary color with a script that's on the github of Eric Dubois Mint Y Colora you can change it to let's take blue for instance Mint Y Dark Blue and Mint Y Dark Blue and why is this has this, this been made for instance to go with the Sardi arc icons so now we have the Sardi icons with the blue and this blue and that blue goes well together so customizing then this one I have the breeze snow I prefer to use this cursor and that's that next up I'll go in, in here go to the configure I'll take otherwise I have to tell people what system is this and then they just can read what it is so voila we're on Linux Mint 18.1 cinnamon I'm gonna use a custom icon uh, a, an icon I like and I'm pressing ctrl H you go to the hidden folder icons that has been has been made and Sardi has in the scalable in the places lots of beautiful start here things let's go over them so we can start here Ubuntu and Starfleet Solus just fun this mate and I often take this one Linux Mint so now we have this beautiful icon here so we're customizing that was the intention of the movie then I the wallpaper it's a great wallpaper but we want to change so variety has been installed and we can continue no thanks 
every shell will uh, change wallpaper on start voila and uh, download the wallpaper every i don't know one minute two minutes whatever you want not 102 let's take uh, one so you see it and then close blah 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 and then you can scroll over this here and you have the next wallpaper on ericdubois.pe there is a variety tutorial i don't know about 20 tips or so uh, of all about this program variety so customization still not there installing plank right mouse click on the plank preferences pressing control also control right mouse click it's now on the bottom i want it on the top with my scripts i have hundreds or more looks of template of the you know, theme of template of the panel so depending on the wallpaper you can choose whatever you want i'm going to take this one voila that's that you want to uh, no something else control control and then right mouse click i always put this otherwise i have a feeling something is broken so when you go inside it then it goes like this then um you want next time to start it back up so start up applications you want plank to boot so add choose an application type p l a n k press it add application done next time plank will be there next up is a hidden folder a hidden folder of control H why am I doing control H show hidden files and you have here Aureola which I'm gonna move over here so now we have this folder here and this is the the ghost you see what you here see here is the, not a ghost but a phantom so I'm gonna install the phantom as well will be fun install conky do you want to install the font yes otherwise it will be ugly all programs will be installed conky is needed sure otherwise we won't see much and there you go a conky inside a conky maybe too much for the system <laughs> as you can see attempting to use to use more CPUs than you have so in a VMware machine or a virtual box machine that will be uh, quite difficult but you know how I did it and um, thinking what else do I do change the wallpapers we've changed themes and icon themes we take the plank and we take the conky so all that's left now is to check the elements in here so one two three has been done the areola was just we chose is shown ah that's maybe interesting it's it ran already but um, some of the programs applications they tend to hard code the path to the image so when you see an image or an icon let's take for instance Let's hope there's still one, but I suppose not. Let's take another color. Why am I taking another color? That's the most easy way to see. Like, for instance, the Sardi Monocolora. I really like that one. Voilà. So, if you go in, into all applications and you scroll down, and everything is now mono. So, everything worked except this one great so this one has an hard-coded path so to in order to fix it you just run this here run in terminal and it's fixing four programs for oh, even more programs that all have an icon that is wrong so let's have a look back everything is now monochrome and everything is fixed 
that's also very, very interesting, very good tip. Anything else? This is purely for my Canon printer, that's probably not for many people. Etcher is not installed, it's to make ICE ISOs to the USB. Um, France is not installed, I think, to social media integrator. Grub customizer, customizer, if you have more operating systems on one system, this can help. And uh, Spacer is uh, speed and RAM and all that. And there you go. So I hope you can um, your help with this tutorial and you can make the system well like you really want it yourself. You know, make your own wallpaper, your own icons, the conky you like and make it a beautiful system. Have fun!